Hey everybody, welcome to Boots and Jeans Riders. I'm Rich. And I'm Cake. And in today's video, you got a treat coming up. Ooh. We're gonna talk about our love for road trips. The top reasons we love riding road trips right now. Now, we only have seven listed. Oh, we have a whole lot that we could talk about, at least 500. Yeah, right, okay. Don't <laughs> <laughs> give them the 500 or you no, stick we with go, the seven? No, we go with the seven. All right. We're make it a, a pretty good video, a pretty interesting <laughs> video. And right, I know you got a reason that you love being on the road, so don't hesitate to put it in the comment section below yeah. why you love riding on the road also. You know, talk about your rallies and where you want to go and all that stuff. All right. But we're going to talk about our top seven, so let's get started. We'll take the first one. First one, number seven. We're going to go work our way down to number one, starting with number seven. Meeting other riders and vloggers along the way. When we're out there on that road, man, meeting those people. Yeah. It's just a real, it's a treat to us, you know. And it, yes, <laughs> especially on our last, last road trip with, with the Willoughby's when we went cross country and yeah. meeting a lot of vloggers when we met them in Arkansas and just in, in all over the place. I'm yeah, just saying Arkansas because we had like four of them at one time in Arkansas. And, and we even saw quite a stickers a few stickers on the state <laughs> signs, signs and yeah. people that we met already too for real so but remember the one time we was in north dakota and we met this guy mm -hmm. that was on the stadium tour when we did the stadium tour we met exactly him with the met him at a gas station mm -hmm. and he said i see you guys getting on and off and on the real freeway good guy too. and other that yeah he was real good and he asked us, did we have a place to stay? Right. And we told him, no, not no, yet. No, first he said, he said. He asked yeah. where we were going. No, he looked at the camping gear. So you guys like camping? We were like, yeah, yeah, we do a lot of camping. Okay. And then he said, hey, where are you going next? We told him the direction we were going, where right, we were headed. Right, where we were going. He said, that's quite a long way. Yes. He said, you guys got a place to stay for the night? Right. And we're like, no, we don't, but we'll find one. So we pull over <laughs> at the next gas stop. And I was looking through the phone and I booked us, found us a place. And he he asked me where I had it. I said, after, um, told him where it was. He said, I know exactly where that is. I'll lead you guys to it. He said, I'm just right up the street from that. Well, prior to but that. prior to that, he yes. said, well, you guys can come and stay at my house. And we was like, okay, cool. Yeah, that, yeah, that'll great. work. Love this motorcycle he stuff. said, I have a huge backyard. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> in other words, he wanted us to pitch the tent in his backyard. We politely declined. Yeah, and it's a good thing we did because it stormed that night. Yes, it did. You know? It would have been very uncomfortable I mean, in somebody's backyard. I mean, we've been in the rain hundreds of thousands yeah, of times, we, but still, yes. yeah, it, was, it was a good chapter. Yeah, so, was. yeah, number seven, Please meeting other riders, other people on the road, you can't beat that. We just love it. So I'll go with number it was six. Good. Number six. Number six, national parks and monuments and memorials. I mean, the United States National Park System is phenomenal. If you're not taking advantage of this while you're on the road, you are really missing out. Yeah, you can get that National Park Pass, mm -hmm. the American Be Beautiful, or America, American America Beauty. The beautiful. Yeah, that's right. American right. the Beautiful. And it's about $80, dollars yeah, But if a, you're a senior, hey. Yeah, you get a lifetime pass. You get right? a lifetime pass for it. Ooh, yeah. We need to get old. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that pass, and the average park costs about $25 to $35, $35 dollars. to get in. Yeah. And just imagine, you get a pass and you're not even on the road yet. Depending on where you are in the country, you can use that pass and you, let's say $25, go four times, that's $100. The cash is only $80. Right. It's already paid for. So when you hit the road, everything else is free. Free, free, free. Free, free, free. To free. get in a national park. Your gas right. is not free, your well, hotel stay. <laughs> but the national park, with, yeah, with the mean, national park pass. I mean, you get a national parks, and my anyone who runs that charge anyway, mm -hmm. you get it absolutely free. So go get that pass. It's only $80 to get it every single yeah. year. What is we're, it? We're then? number five. Number five. Catching up with family and friends. You That's know, we one. haven't seen in a long time. We give them a call and say, hey, we're in your area, or we're going to be in your area. Well, of course, we let them know few weeks in advance that right. we're going to be in that right. area so that way they can tidy up if we know where our we room <laughs> and be ready for, for when we come. Because I'm sure everybody who's watching now, well not everybody, no, we're originally from New Orleans. We live in California and we both graduated from New Orleans and our friends spread throughout the country and family yeah. members all over the place. We just make that phone call and say, hey, we are coming in town. And then if it's someone we hadn't met or hadn't seen in a long time, like in Michigan, where we stayed with a, a childhood friend, actually, right. a couple of them, actually. But they Michigan, we hadn't seen him in a long time. And then we're 
Alan and them live in and oh, every, all over the country. Just yeah, we were catching up. Just about every members. state we went to, it was somebody that we were able to stay by. And that helped us a lot with our um, lodging. Our budget, On yes. the budget, too. So that, that was pretty good. Trips we haven't even so spent. So thank you, family and friends. We are really appreciate it. Exactly. And one of the trips, we haven't even spent a quarter of our budget. So many right. people are saying, come over, come over, come over. And, you know, we'll we buy them dinner every once in a while if we had money for dinner. And normally we would because they saved us hotel money. Exactly. Number four, food. <laughs> We are eaters. We, like we eat. love food. <laughs> and when we traveling, the greatest thing about it is we like to go to those small restaurants. Not and the big hole in the wall. Yeah, not, not the, the big franchises, chain restaurants. not the chain restaurants. We want to eat where the locals go. So exactly. when we go and we check in the hotel or even at our campsite, if we're not going to cook for ourselves, we'll go in the lobby and say, hey, where do you recommend the restaurant to right. Not a chain. And they'll say, oh, down the street, around the corner, well, you know, mom and pops, and we can go there. And you know, every region of the United States have their own mm. flair, their own flavor. You know, Chicago got the taste of Chicago, Philadelphia, New York, especially New Orleans, where the Big Easy, where we so, from. Yeah. Everybody, Texas, all over California, got their own California cuisine. We just love going out there and trying new spots. Like when we was in Texas with our friend, Harker. Harker, yeah. He brought He's us a to roller the, skater and also uh, he rides ride a bike. bike. Yeah, he bought us to the French Lick restaurant, one of the best barbecue places I've ever been to. The Salt Lick. Salt Lick? I say French Lick? Yeah, he said French Lick. I don't know <laughs> what is in friend. Texas. We wees. I know it's in, it's in the, the he's, he lived oh, in. Oh, the road he took us on was, was fantastic to get to. In the back hills. It. Yeah. Texas hills. So he lived in Austin, right? No, mm-hmm. he lived in. Austin? No, we were staying in Austin. We were staying in San Antonio. He lived in Austin. Anyway. Going on, number number three. The third reason we really love taking long distance road trips, or road trips in general, is discovering new back twisty roads to ride. We live in California. We got thousands of twisty roads, the best in the country, hands down. So let us know where you live, what kind of roads you have there also. Do you think and you have the come best in road? And explore on your road. But every time we get a new road, you're trying to stay off the freeway. Now we go from point A to point e, B. Of course we're on free, but outside of that, it's but I have a roads. favorite road, which is in South Dakota, about a four big head people and by Crazy Horse and all of them people. Yes, and she loved that road. I, I just love, love all it. twisty roads all I over. But my favorite roads are in Cali. Yeah. But when I'm traveling outside of Cali, yeah, South Dakota, Iron Mountain, Black Hill. Yeah. I think I'm about to go now. <laughs> <laughs> we just came from there. I can go again. Yeah, okay. you know, we, Moving and, on. And one of the things with that that we're riding the roads, especially when we're riding with the Willardies. You guys know these guys. We, we travel with them all the time. Right. Save us all money. <laughs> especially <laughs> when we camp. Okay, number two, 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 two. is planning the road trip. You know, we, we, we plan a lot different than everybody else. Nine out of ten of our road trip do what? We throw a dart. We throw the dart at the dart board. If you guys Maybe ever you seen don't. that? Maybe we'll put that video in how we actually start planning our trip. I mean, a lot of our trips are scheduled also, but ninety nine nine out of ten, so I said ninety percent of our trips are mm-hmm. just random. Throwing a dart. And the thing I love the most about that is not where we know where we're going next. Right. Our last vacation with the Willardies. Even though I one. try to aim to where I want to go, um, Sometimes I'm well, always I'm talking in about Canada. Even, even even our last bike trip, where we was mm-hmm. just going to going to Colorado, and right. that's where the trip was supposed to be, just to Colorado, and we wound up going all over because Willie wanted to go here, and then when we out on the road, people yeah, saying people were telling us, "Oh, go here! You have to go here! You have to go there!" We was like, "Okay, well, we don't know where we're going next." So I'm going to suggest it, but we're going. Yeah, we were going. <laughs> and that's for us. It's one of the most exciting things that we do yeah. when we're out on the road with somebody to say, "Hey, which direction are you going? Well, are we going east." Well, you might want to go here, go ahead. and we said, all right, let's go. And our last road trip, our last up. vacation, it was, that was it. So thank you, people on the road. For real. And now we down to the number, the number one reason. One reason. Why we really love going on vacation, long distance road trips, staying out for weeks at a time. And is returning, returning home. home. Yes, coming back to family. Loved ones. Yes, because we have our personal welcoming committee.
<laughs> they miss us as much when as we you, miss them. When you have the adult children screaming and hollering like cheerleaders, yeah, they're back, they're back, ooh. <laughs> yeah. but although we stay in contact with them, just about every day they want to know where we are. But anyway. Yes, yes. And, and just when we come back home, nothing like that feeling, just being welcomed back to home. And then once we get home and get settled in, you know, we start doing. Well, yeah, we, we get ready for we the next trip. For the next one, <laughs> yes. And then the questions start, mommy. When y'all leaving again? Yes. How long y'all gonna be gone? Yep. <laughs> and that, that's basically that's all we. Well, we could put some more up there if you guys want. To. But that's all we have we for right it. now. Leave it with the seven. for this video. And if you're watching, go on and put in the comment section of what you love most about being out on the road. Right. And if you're a, a biker that's not riding on the road, you are really, really missing out. Take a nice long weekend trip. Get out of the state that you're in. Leave your zip code. That's what I would say. <laughs> <laughs> or your area code. Your area code. <laughs> so anyway, that's all we have for right now. We want to thank you guys for hanging out with us and watching this and mm -hmm. hope that we gave you some ideas to start your own video and put what you want to video. Right. And want to ride on long road trip. Ride on the road. But you know if you end up in Northern California Bay Area, you know what you have to do, right? Look us Look up. up. Look us up. And we will ride with, with you. you. We don't care what kind of bike you ride. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Well, anyway, so. speaking of that, if you're out riding now, remember, ride long, ride hard, ride strong, but most importantly, ride safe. From Boston Jeans Riders, I am Rich. And I'm Kate. And we out. Peace. Peace.